Um, Jeremy has some news that he would like to share with, with all of us. Um, right. So a little bit of pretext, um, in case you don't know, yesterday there were some uh, rules submitted on the floor, Rule 12 and Rule 15 and slash 16. Are you guys aware of that? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. You tell so, it. Okay. So Rule 12 basically allows the RNC, GOP elitists, 168 guys, to basically change the rules whenever they want from this convention on. In other words, to put it simply, they get to change the goalposts and the rules in the middle of a game which is not fair. And especially for Republicans, we are all about not centralizing power, and we're about um, you know, a republic form of government and a republic form of uh, elections. And so for people to, to send me and all the other, and it's not just Ron Paul people like myself, all the other grassroots, um, we have a lot of Santorum people, a lot of Bachman people, a lot of Newt Gingrich people who are outraged about this. Right. When those people back in our state send us, we have an obligation and responsibility to them to spread the message that they want what we want. That's why they select us. And what Rule 12 does is it allows them um, to basically change the rules and undermine what we're doing. 1516 um, also um, basically gives the head campaign or the RNC the ability to cut delegates that, um, that, they, don't, that they don't want at the convention. It happened in Maine. If you haven't heard about the seating of Maine, there were um, only 10 Maine delegates on the floor and there were a ton others up on the upper tier just yelling seat main now and there was a big motion on the floor and we were all just yelling and screaming it um, because a lot of the grassroots delegates from Maine were Ron Paul and the establishment knew that they sent in and, and uh, not only um, you know, uh, took their credentials from them and said you can't be Ron Paul delegate or you can't even be delegates to attend at the RNC they also placed Mitt Romney delegates in their place. And, um, and I know for Maine and many other states, um, you know, some of us in Colorado, Texas, um, you know, I got 15 states in my cell phone I could read <laughs> off, are very outraged and we are backing those Maine delegates. And that is just one example of, you know, a, a grassroots organization that said, well, these are our delegates, we're sending them to the RNC, the establishment says, no, we don't like them, we're going to put in our own delegates, and if it happened to Maine, Rule 12 and Rule 15, it can happen to anybody, and that's the message that wow. we're giving out. I mean, does the Republican Party really need to be doing something like this? Uh, it's just the Absolutely. worst time to do it. Absolutely, and it's a really important note, too. I said this at, at a delegation breakfast right after Matt Romney spoke at the Holiday Inn at Clearwater. There's 80, 85 people in there. And I made a point of clarification that Ben Ginsburg, yes. the head lawyer for Mitt Romney, is the man who submitted these rules to the GOP. And so... In other words, Mitt Romney's campaign was behind the whole entire central power grab, and you know yeah, and that's a that's a breaking story. I know that, that I know that story. Red State. Uh, I know that Eric Erickson uh, wrote about it this morning. I read his piece. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a, a dozen emails last night. I sent them off to uh, several people I know who are here, who are delegates, uh, including the head of the the party of uh, Republican Party of Sarasota, saying, "What the heck are you guys doing?" Yep. Why do you want to anger the base? Yeah. Why are you trying to create, why are you segregating, why are you creating different classes within the party and excluding those classes based on this, these, these rule changes? Why do this now? Yeah. First of all, why do it at all? Mm -hmm. And then certainly the political timing of this is absolutely ridiculous because it distracts. And, and, and Mitt Romney's going to be, he's going to be nominated. Right. You know, he's going to have enough delegates. Right. Why do you want to do this? Well, yeah. You've already Absolutely. won. Yep. Absolutely. You, why do you want to change the rules after you've won? Yeah. You don't need that. You don't need the extra couple of people from Maine or whatever it is, 30 or 40. Right. You don't, you know, and, and, and you're going to do nothing but aggravate. Absolutely. The base. And you're right. And a lot of us have been talking about that and all the other states and Colorado specifically. Colorado 
has a liberty revolution going on. People don't know how big of a liberty movement there is. There are so many Tea Party people in Colorado. There's Campaign for Liberty. There's all the meetup groups. I can't tell you how many different things are happening. And, um, and it's growing. And that is the growth of the Republican Party. And that is the base and the grassroots, like you said. And again, it doesn't undermine just Paul delegates, even though we would argue there's been a lot of mistreatings and abuse. It undermines the whole message of what the Republican Party should believe in. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fundamentally the antithesis of what Republicans are saying publicly. They want less government, less control, more control to the people, yeah. and yet within their own delegation, yeah. they're, they're power grabbing. We don't even have it in our own party. Yeah, and that's, that is a story that, uh, that, has, that has very bad uh, connotations and is something that, you know, after uh, uh, Ann Romney's speech last night, which was so wonderful... Speaking about love, why do you hate these people? Why are you hating people this, right. this morning? <laughs> right. Yeah. Why are you why are you p passing rules that actually segregate? Well, people? and if you want to, so there's even more particulars about those rules, and this is very very important. The man who is leading the charge, who is supposed to lead the charge against these rules, is named Morton Blackwell. He is the one who, you know, with all the other um, people on rules committees, wrote what's called the Minority Report. Yes, the Minority Report. Right. Tell us about that. Okay. What does that mean? So the Minority Report was, was signed, documented, everything it needed to have to give to the RNC chair to put on the floor. Morton Blackwell was the man from Virginia with all of his Virginia delegates, and it was funny because on the floor... Colorado's right across the aisle from Virginia, and I met up with a couple of Ron Paul guys from uh, from Virginia. And I look over, I'm like, "Where where are all your Virginians?" They're like, "They're stuck on a bus with Morton Blackwell." And I was like, "Where the heck is Morgan Morton Blackwell?" And they said, "He's on a bus and he's being held. He's not let allowed into the convention yet." So the story, the official story of what has happened is Morton Blackwell in his bus with all of his Virginia delegates, who's leading the charge, um, was basically played with and toyed with and they would not allow him in any of the checkpoints and they sent his bus on just basically a joyride for an hour and a half and what he was coming for is they were having a small rules committee meeting apart from the convention to spare an embarrassment on the floor like let's come to some reason we can compromise this we don't have to have a floor fight and if you know Morton Blackwell he's been in the party for 25 30 years he's been going to the RNC conventions forever um, so, you know, he's been around a long time. And uh, so not only his bus, his Virginia bus didn't get in. It was purposely, you know, played with. There were other buses from, I believe, Michigan and Iowa that also weren't let in. And he missed the meeting. He missed that meeting outside. And, of course, he comes late. And um, they were going to give the minority report to the RNC chair. He said, I don't care. He didn't even present it on the floor, even though Morton Blackwell and all the states and all the people on the rules committee who was supporting it went by their own rules. But we're quickly finding out, if you haven't guessed it already <laughs> from months, the RNC is not following their own rules. And if there's corruption in government, it's also corruption here, and it's sad. No, it is. It's and this is, a, this is a big story, and this is one that, uh, that's why we have watchdogwire.com to bring in people like you to tell the truth about what's going on within the RNC. I mean, it, it, it's, I, I couldn't believe it when I got these emails last night, late last night and this morning, and I, I wished them, I whipped them off uh, to the, actually the, the, uh, the, uh, the Florida uh, state committee man. Uh, you know, and what it does is it, it takes him, my friend, who's a state committee man for the entire, he's not elected anymore by the people. Yep. He's not elected by the delegates. He's picked by some in some back smoky smoke filled back room, <laughs> right. and wherever they meet, this 164 guy, you got to play with me, or you're not going to be the state committee man and come to the RNC. You're not going to be a delegate and come to the RNC. I mean, this is worse than a Democrat. It is, and that's what a lot of people are saying. If if we're Republicans, I mean, this is a Democrat kind of Chicago style politics. No, this is. Are we trying to contrast? Why are we? Are we? Aren't we fighting this? Absolutely. I thought that that's what they were fighting. I thought that was their platform, was to fight this kind of, of takeover of of our liberties and our freedoms, our ability to vote. We're talking about voter fraud. When you stop a bus. Yep. Or send it on it. That's voter fraud to the nth yep. degree for within the party. And it's no coincidence. It's like taking, okay, yep. I'm going to take voters to the polls, but I'm going to drive you around until the polls close. Yeah. Right. I mean, 
and it is no no it's coincidence. A it's a it scandal. is no coincidence that his bus and him, the leading guy, was not there. That I is know. not a coincidence. That is not a coincidence. <laughs> it's not. Uh, now, so now what happens? I mean, are people going to be outraged on the floor? Are people going to walk out? Or? So here's the thing. Yesterday, Texas and a lot of delegates did walk out. I mean, some of us from Colorado, 15, 20 other states were just like, there's no more business. They don't even follow their own business, so we're just walking out. We met with Maine afterwards and, um, and uh, kind of got together and, and discussed. And, um, you know, today, uh, hopefully Rand Paul will be speaking, to my understanding. So, you know, we're all going to show up, just love the guy. Yeah. Um, Rand Paul, and, you know, don't know this 100%, but one of my uh, for, uh, fellow delegates, Bobby Eskenberry, has met with uh, Rand Paul totally random a couple of times, <laughs> once on the plane, and then he saw him on the stairs wow, yesterday. Sweet. And uh, Rand has said, and it's, you know, been confirmed with a lot more people than him, or said from him, that you can't say Ron Paul's name on the stage. This is why every time a state said, even, uh, I believe it was uh, Nevada, Ron Paul won Nevada. So Nevada says, I don't know exactly, but, you know, 40-some-odd votes for Ron Paul, eight for Mitt Romney. Then on the stage, what does the lady say? Eight Romney. And she doesn't say Ron Paul. Every state went like that. And Rand told Bobby, fellow delegate, he said, I can't say my own father's name on the stage. He's like, so what I want to tell you and make it viral to all the Paul supporters is when I say the grandfather of my son, all of you say Ron Paul. And of course, we'll be chanting Ron that'll Paul. Be, that'll be tomorrow? That should be today. Today. That's one event. Okay. Um, the other, and this is just kind of a teaser, hasn't been confirmed 100% for sure, but um, tomorrow there's a lot of states that, um, that may walk out a lot bigger than yesterday. A lot of delegates from a lot of states may just walk out of the convention floor tomorrow. And um, basically, um, some are talking about having your own um, uh, uh, like mini convention. Um, a lot are talking about going up on an upper tier. But um, we're mainly just walking out, making a statement that there's corruption. We don't want a part of it. We went here all by the rules to do what we're supposed to do, playing by your rules, being civil, being professional, and and uh, and you're totally just blowing over and steamrolling everything we're trying to do, and uh, so just making a statement. So that's kind of a teaser for all the media Absolutely. and everybody to sharing. show up. Thank you yeah. for sharing. Thank you for Absolutely. doing.